Gradient of a line. A gradient is represented by a small m. A horizontal line um, have a gradient of zero. That is, m is equal to zero. Vertical line. The gradient of a vertical line is undefined. That is, the gradient of a vertical line is equal to infinity. So we can calculate the gradient of any lines. So the way to go about this is we construct a right or triangle and then we find the vertical distance that is vertical rise and then we find the um, horizontal distance that is a horizontal run then the gradient is vertical rise over horizontal run that is the vertical distance over horizontal distance that will give you the, um, the gradient so a positive gradient that is m is greater than zero so any of this line the gradient of these lines um, as greater than zero so let's have a look at the um, green lines here so when x is 2 y is 1 when x is 3 y is 2.5 when x is 4, y is equal to 4 as well. So you can see that when x increases, y is increases as well. So that's why you have the um, positive gradient. Now, let's focus on um, the orange line. So we're going to calculate the um, gradient of, the, of each of these lines. Now, first of all, I construct a right angle triangle first. And you can see the vertical distance is two units and the horizontal distance is one two three units now the line any line that gone this way like this you have positive gradient so first of all identify which way they go so and then you can you yeah, identify where the positive or negative gradient at the moment is positive so m equal rise over run which is two over three that is your gradient Similarly, with the uh, purple lines, I construct a right or triangle and the vertical distance is 4 and the horizontal distance is 2 and then um, the gradient is positive because gone that way and the gradient is 4 over 2. Vertical distance over horizontal, so which is simplify as equal to 2 and you must simplify, okay? Or you can s construct a smaller triangle so I can construct a small triangle like this. There you go. And the vertical rise, which is vertical distance, is 2 unit, And the horizontal is 1. So the gradient is called 2 rise over run, which is 1. You simplify, which is 2. So the gradient of this is 2. So whichever way you do, you get the same result. Because on a straight line, they have the same gradient. Right. Look, focus on um, the green line now. First of all, I construct the triangle first, and the vertical distance is two, three units, and then the horizontal distance is two units. So the gradient of this is vertical distance over horizontal and three over two. And you know that the line comes that way, so you get you have three over two. Now, with gradient, we always write in um, and um, fractions because that's how that's how is um, we write so please keep that in mind if you have decimal point so better to write in fractions and if it even improper fraction like this so leave as it is but you must simplify let's say for example if i construct a, a triangle a bigger triangle like this let's say here and here so one, two, three, four, five, six, you got six unit here. One, two, three, four, you got four. So the gradient comes this way. So therefore you have positive gradient and vertical distance over horizontal, which is four. And of course it's correct, but you must simplify. That's why. So if you simplify this or you, or you get divided by two, both top and bottom, you get three over two. And you leave at it. And um, that's how you write the uh, gradient. negative gradient uh, which is m less than zero 
So if you have a look at these lines here, they all have negative gradients. Um, let's have a look at the uh, green lines here. So when x is 0, y equals 4. When x is 2, y equals 1. When x is 4, y equals negative 2. So you can see when x um, increases, y is decreasing. Decreasing. So you can see it. So when x gets larger, y, when y gets smaller. So therefore you have a gradient of negative. So let's have a look at um, orange line now. We find the gradient of those lines, okay? So first of all, I construct the um, right, uh, right or triangle first. The ver vertical right is one, the horizontal um, distance is one, and then the line gone this way. So therefore you have a negative gradient. So first of all, I write m equal minus first. Then rise over run, one over one. So one over one is one. So your answer is negative one. Similarly, for purple lines, I construct a triangle triangle. The vertical distance is two units and then one unit for the horizontal distance. Then the gradient, because it's gone that way, so the gradient is negative. First step, I write that down like that first, so I do not forget the um, negative sign. And then um, rise over run, which is 2 over 1. And of course, 2 over 1 is 2 divided by 1 is 2, so the gradient is negative 2. Look at the green line here. So construct a triangle triangle. So the vertical um, distance is 3 units and then the horizontal is 2 units. So the gradient is negative because it comes that way. Again, remember the line going this way is negative gradient. So which is m equal negative first of all. And then the rise over run, which is vertical distance over horizontal. So 3 over 2. So the gradient of this is minus 3 over 2. And just leave it that, okay? So you don't have to write in um, decimal. Always live in uh, fractions. Now, let's do um, a couple practice on here. So to, con con um, to write, to find the gradient of this, first of all, okay, m is equal positive because you can see the, the line going this way. So m is positive. Otherwise, see, you can see when x get larger, y get larger as well. So you, that's why you get positive gradient. Then I construct a triangle triangle. So vertical distance is 2 and horizontal is 5. Then the gradient, because it's positive, so m is 2 over 5. Or I can construct a bigger, a larger triangle. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes it's easier for you to see or just to however you construct. And if you construct larger, remember to simplify. That's all. So the vertical distance is 4 units and 10 units. It's the horizontal distance. Then vertical over horizontal give you m. So therefore m is 4 over 10 and the positive of course and then you must simplify so when you simplify you get the same answer so just follow the process okay let's have a look at this one slightly different but same process so step number one so i have to write m equal now because you can see the line gone this way so therefore it's negative gradient Otherwise, you can see when x get big, uh, larger and where y gets smaller. So that's why negative gradient. Then I construct a triangle triangle, which is give me this here. So the distance from 0 to minus 5 is 5 units. And then from 0 to minus 4 is 4 units. So the gradient is rise over run, which is 4 over 5. So that's the gradient of this line. This one here, step number one, I identify whether positive or negative gradient first. The line gone this way, so you have a positive gradient. So, which is draw a triangle first, a triangle triangle, of course, you get this. See, this way here, because this y is three, so this is three here. So from zero to three, you have three units. From this is four for x value, so from here to here is four units. So which is rise over run, which is 3 over 4. So your gradient of this is 3 fourth. Now, this one here, 
last one so first of all m is equal to so line gone this way so you have a negative gradient so which is minus first of all then you construct a right angle triangle so this way how you construct so you just draw this down and then because the x is negative 2 here so this is negative 2 so from here to here is 2 unit from here to here is 3 units so all together is 5 units all together horizontal distance is 5 units y is 3 so therefore this is 3 if you like so from here to here vertical distance is 3 units so therefore the gradient of this is 3 over 5 so therefore the gradient is negative 3 over 5 thank you so much for watching